My name is Tony Fernandez, and I'm passionate about making sure that uh, patients who call EMS for an emergency in their time of need receive the best care that they possibly can. And I grew up on a small island on Long Island, New York, called Long Beach. Uh, my father was a lieutenant in the New York City Fire Department, um, and my mother was an educator. When I was growing up, I didn't know really what I wanted to do. I, I, I spent a lot of time in the firehouse. Um, so I kind of figured that, I guess I kind of in the back of my mind always figured that I'd end up there. In 2001, uh, during uh, the terrorist attacks, I was, I was still an undergraduate. My father was a lieutenant uh, in, in Brooklyn, and his fire department um, uh, was, was sent, because everybody was, that was very close was sent to uh, the Twin Towers. He wasn't working that day, which was uh, fortunate. Um, because five guys in his firehouse were lost that day. So my dad, being a lieutenant, uh, took a leadership role and decided he needed to find everybody. And he was, he was there so long, his, his exposure was just off the charts, and uh, he ended up getting sick, and uh, unfortunately he's no longer around. I mean, the reason that I, that I came into EMS was I, I knew I wanted to help people, I just didn't know how. Um, I worked as an EMT, and then I worked part-time throughout paramedic school. I accepted a position to move to Columbus, Ohio with the National Registry of EMTs and uh, complete a EMS research fellowship. I accepted a position as the research director for the EMS Performance Improvement Center. At the EMS Performance Improvement Center in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, we collect all aspects of EMS data for benchmarking, tracking, and analysis. Because of the work that uh, the collaboration between the Duke Endowment and the North Carolina and South Carolina offices of EMS and the EMS Performance Improvement Center, it's clear that, that EMS patients are, are receiving a higher quality of care. Response times have been decreased. There's life-saving equipment that has been delivered to the field. And within the next few years, a whole new generation of performance improvement products are going to be developed and delivered. I'm extremely proud to be a paramedic. I'm proud to be a research director at the EMS Performance Improvement Center, and I'm proud of the work that we do.